Hi, it's John. Followers of this series know that I'm on the Pilgrim's Trail from Paris to Bordeaux. On day 35, I reached the town of Saint-Jean-d'Angely, more than 500 kilometers in from Paris. I walked in from Alnay de Saint-Ange through a little town named Corcel. On this trip, I was always on the lookout for farm animals that I could film for my grandchildren. And in Corcel, I hit the jackpot. Here's the video I sent them. I am crossing a small river at Corcel, south of Poitiers, and here are two geese in a pen in the river. Voila. The walk in from Olney was a long day. And I did most of it with Gilles, my new walking companion. He had just retired. I had 10 years on it. And this walk was his first retirement project. He was going all the way, 1,300 kilometers to Santiago. My walk was almost finished. I had less than 200 kilometers to go to get to Bordeaux. was a nice town. It had some international students, a square with restaurants and a few bars, and an extraordinary unfinished church. But what I remember most about days 35 and 36 were the human connections. We stayed in different spots and I chose a B&B &B in the center of the town. It was comfortable without being lavish. I didn't expect the beautiful breakfast that Madame Benoist laid out for me and the other guests the next morning. But serendipity was coming for me. And just look at the beautiful table that she set. There were five of us and I was the only pilgrim walker. I remember that the conversation sparkled around that table and how could it not with such a beautiful service. While I was in Angely, I needed a haircut. So I found a barber at Coiffe Steel near my champ d'eau. It was a one-man shop. Business was slow. So we had a chance for a really good chat. He was a lovely guy who had almost 10 years on me and he had done his own pilgrimage. There is an intangible fellowship of the road that links pilgrim walkers. And he told me that he still walked 20 kilometers each weekend and loved it. Later, after I'd suited up and was heading out of Angely, I popped in to say goodbye and show him my gear. When he saw me, his face lit up and he wished me a cheery bon chemin. There is a story about a Valois princess 400 years ago who rode this road to Mazarin once a week to see her child. He had been taken from her because she had been wrongly accused of poisoning her husband.
I was on my way to the larger town of Sant, but it was too far for me to walk in one day. On this trip, I never tried to push it. So I stayed in a farmhouse that Gilles knew about, run by a lovely old lady near a little spot named Fredière. Madame Veril prepared a great meal for us, which started at eight and went late. Gilles' wife drove in to join us, and here's the menu. Aperitif with peanuts, cold cuts, cucumber salad, chicken curry, local cheeses, sugar crepe, and of course, some wine. It was a great meal and great talk. Thanks for watching and bye bye from Saint Jean d'Angely. Up next, the town of Saint and its Roman ruins. <laughs>